It was the last day of school before summer break. All the kids in Mr. Goose's class were getting super excited. They couldn't sit still, they couldn't stop whispering, and they couldn't remember their ABCs anymore, and they couldn't focus in math class. All they could think about today was summer break. Wonderful, glorious summer break. Two whole months of absolutely no school. And what about Mr. Goose? All Mr. Goose could think about today was ice cream. All he wanted to do was go home, sit on his roof, and eat ice cream. He was also tired. Very tired. He stayed up past his bedtime last night, eating ice cream, of course. Do you think staying up late and eating ice cream before the last day of school is a good idea? The same day that his kids had more energy than ever before? If you would have asked Mr. Goose's students, they might have said, yeah. If you would have asked Mr. Goose's students' parents, they would have said, no. The bell rang, which meant it was time for everyone to get to class. Mr. Goose's students hurried to their classroom. When they got there, Mr. Goose was drawing on the chalkboard. He was drawing a huge picture of a huge ice cream cone. Yay! said all the kids. Are we having ice cream today? Yes. We're having ice cream today, yawned Mr. Goose. His eyes popped wide open when he realized he'd made a mistake. No, 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 I made a mistake. I meant to say no, said Mr. Goose, as fast as he could. But it was too late. All 29 kids heard him, and they all wanted ice cream. And they wanted it now. They rushed towards Mr. Goose. His eyes got wide as frisbees. The scariest thing when you are sleepy and hungry for ice cream is seeing 29 kids with runny noses come running towards you, demanding that you give them each ice cream. Mr. Goose looked around frantically for a way to defend himself. He saw only one thing, the blackboard eraser. He grabbed it and gave it a big whack against his leg. An enormous cloud of chalk dust filled the classroom. Blue, white, green, and red chalk dust was everywhere. All the kids stopped running towards him. They couldn't even see Mr. Goose anymore. It was like the classroom had become a colorful cloud and they were stuck inside it. After a minute, the dust began to settle. They could see Mr. Goose again. Give us our ice cream now! They yelled together. They took another step towards Mr. Goose. They were getting very close to him. There was no escaping. They were going to grab Mr. Goose and carry him to the ice cream store, kicking and screaming. But Mr. Goose began to smack the blackboard eraser against his leg as hard and as fast as he could. Over and over again he did this. The dust kept on puffing and puffing out of the eraser. His plan worked. He was safe. But there was so much dust that the classroom couldn't hold it all. A thick cloud of chalk dust crept out the door and down the hall all the way to the big red fire alarm. Ring, ring, ring. The fire bell began to ring. 37 seconds later, all the teachers and students were in the safe zone in the soccer field. Two minutes later, the fire trucks arrived. The brave firemen rushed into the school. 17 seconds later, they came out, covered in chalk dust. They talked with the principal, Mrs. Detention, for a long time. They got back in their fire trucks and drove away. Now Mrs. Detention had her hands on her hips. She wasn't smiling. She was looking over the top of her pointy glasses, like she always did. Children! She screeched. Somebody has made a huge mess of my school with chalk. I need to know who is responsible. 
possible? She turned her head while still staring over the top of her glasses to make sure every student could look into her eyes. Soon, her eyes were pointed at Mr. Goose. Chalk was billowing off of Mr. Goose every time he just moved a muscle. And his pants were absolutely covered in chalk. And to top it off, the chalkboard eraser was still sticking out of his pocket. He was guilty. Mr. Wilfred Goose! She was yelling now. You naughty, naughty goose! What is the reason for this? Look at you! You're steaming like a chalk teapot! I'm so disappointed in you. Ice cream, responded the sleepy Mr. Goose. That made Mrs. Detention very angry. She thought he was being a disrespectful smarty pants. She did not know that Mr. Goose was having a bad day. She did not know that his quick thinking is what rescued him from having to buy ice cream for 29 kids. She thought he was being silly and acting more like his shoe size than his age. Detention for you! She blared in Mr. Goose's face. Detention! She grabbed Mr. Goose by the ear and pulled him into the school. All the kids and teachers stared. They'd never had a last day of school like this before. All the other kids and their teachers followed them back into the school. All except for Mr. Goose's class. While Mr. Goose was sweeping up chalk and writing on the chalkboard, I will not smack the chalkboard eraser again 999 times. Can you guess what Mr. Goose's class was doing? Feeling guilty. Very, very guilty. They felt so guilty that they all ran home and brought one scoop of ice cream from their freezers. They put all 29 scoops of ice cream into one ice cream cone. And they gave it to Mr. Goose just as the last bell rang. It was the world's tallest ice cream cone just like the picture he'd drawn on the chalkboard. Mr. Goose smiled the biggest smile they'd ever seen him smile, and a tear trickled down his eye. You kids are the best, he said. I love you. Almost as much as I love ice cream. Ice cream. Well deserved ice cream. So good. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like. Be sure to check out my other videos. And teachers, just want to say thank you for another year of all your hard work. Thanks for all that you guys do teaching our kids. Such an important job. And we appreciate you guys. Have a great summer. And kids, you have a great summer as well. Stay safe and remember to eat your vegetables. I'll see you again. Bye.